Hey everyone, welcome back to Data Sciencey. In this video today, I'll be telling you about an AI agent which is called Manus, and this is made by China. So China has made the first ever AI agent that does work for you. So it does not just think, it delivers results and it actually does the work for you. So that is Manus. Now Manus is a journal purpose AI agent. So it does the journal task, whether you want deep research, whether you want it to make it a game, whether you want it to like have a look at the Tesla stocks or anything that you want, Manus will do the task for you. So Manus, it actually excels at various tasks in work and life in which it gets everything done while you rest. So while you're resting, so there's an AI agent which is doing the task for you. Even if it's an email also, even if you want to do some deep research also, leave it to Manus. So here, if you see, there are some many, many examples they have given here in which how Manus, it handles the real world task through step-by-step -step replays. So for example, if you want to have a trip to Japan in April, there's deeply analyzed Tesla stocks, interactive course on the momentum theorem, there's comparative analysis of insurance policies, there's B2B supplier sourcing, there's so many things. For example, if I click here to, if I want to go on a trip to Japan in April and I ask Manus that, can you tell me some information or like itineraries or where can I go to Japan? So in which, which places or anything. So when I click on this, so you can see it goes to another website and you can see the task has been given and then Manus, it actually starts, you know, it provides like, you know, it goes to the website. So here it's doing the work of the operator, like how OpenAI has the operator thing and even Opera has the AI browser in which it does the task. So this also Manus does. Now Manus has its own environment. It has its own environment and it does the task. Like it will be handling browser error. It will be going to each and every website, you know, doing the task for you. So here you can see how much detail is it like. You can see, you know, the first, then now it has created everything. Now from day one, day two, day three, okay. Now, for example, if we want to go to a seven day Japan. So if we want to go to a seven day Japan trip from Seattle and you say that this is the budget, like $2,500 to $5,000 budget dollars. And they say like we love historical sites, hidden gems and Japanese cultures in which there's tea ceremonies, Zen meditation. And you tell it, you tell to it in detail. Like we want to even see Nara's deer and explore cities on foot. So tell me how you can provide the detailed itinerary and also a simple HTML handbook also in which there's map, there's attraction descriptions, essential Japanese phrases, and even travel trips that you can reference together throughout our journey. Now here, say so for the couple who is going from Seattle to Japan in April, like there, so first it makes a note of it like what to do okay now morning you arrive at this airport then you check into this in tokyo then you can do this and that in afternoon what you can do so it does the task for you means it like points the stuff and writes notes for you in the evening what you'll do in afternoon what you'll do in day two then what how you'll do day three till day seven it has like made the notes for you like you can go to this park you can go to that park so it's kind of the thing that Manus for you it will take many time for you it would take a lot of time because when you go to google you type search you look at the places then you plan that uh, that first day i'll go to this place and second day so this ai agent it makes it easier for you so you can see here how it makes it easier for you that it makes the notes for you and everything now let's have a look at other examples so now let's have a look at the deeply analyzed tesla stock so this is one of the use cases also that manas has done so you can have a look at it and here it will do the thorough analysis of tesla stock in which there's the company overview and everything so you can see how many use cases are there so here you can see it's working, it's thinking, it's using terminal, it's editing this and that. You can see the way it's working, you can have a look at it. And then it's using editor, it's using terminal. So here you can see, and there are some pictures also. And then at the end, it will tell you what it has analyzed regarding the Tesla stock. 
or anything they have made the graph also for you so whatever he's done, done like some charts some bar chart there's some pie chart there's even some scatter there's so many many graphs it has created for you so you can have a look at it and you can see like some of the files also you can have a files also then it does make a dashboard also in which it will tell you everything regarding the tesla stuff okay so here you can see how it has it is doing so you can see it has done the completed the tasks so you can see okay so here there's the dashboard server there is even you allow it sometimes to do the work for example if we want to deploy the application to the public network also okay so you can have a look at this so if you open here so you can have a look at this dashboard in which this man is ai has created so there's the summary there's investment recommendations value income cg financial performance valuation analysis everything it has done technical analysis even the swat analysis you know the strength weakness opportunities strengths the price targets and scenarios everything it has told you about like deeply analyze and then it makes a dashboard also for you to have a look at it like in detail so when i click on research on ai products for the clothing industry now this is interesting now when i click on this so let's see how it does so you can see like what vertical search ai solution exists in the fashion industry now let's see what it will do so manis has its own computer so here in that there's browser there's search so it's using those stuff and trying to do the task for you so there are many many websites it's going to many many websites and then it's trying to figure out from everything from everywhere like how chat gpt does but chat gpt does not do sometimes it cannot even use google maps also so it does not use google maps properly sometimes it does but it's not that great so you can see here it gave the summary what are the key findings the introduction the identified solutions that they are some of the websites or the ais that can suggest the outfits for fashion okay so there's visual search there's product so so many ideas it has given so it has like wrote the summary and everything and there's also they made the text file also so you can have a look at it also there's also the pricing model comparison and you can see like whatever files it has created you can have a look at it so let's have a look at the data analysis one in this use case for example if we create so if you have a look at the mobile internet traffic data analysis like in us how much mobile internet consumption is there so you can have look you have to analyze the mobile data analysis and so it's using browser editor browser even sometimes it's correcting the browser error when it gets so it's it has its own computer like own environment in that it's doing the task so here the thing is that it's not using your computer i think so it's using its own computer and here you can see it's clicking this stuff and it's trying to find and analyze this thing like it's trying to get all the data and then it's using it to get the information that you want or analyze or anything rather it's data analyze or anything that you want so it's doing that you can even see that there's full like summary there's full report there's project summary also you can see like the project summary there's current and even there's some files you can have a look at this some images you can see like from where it's used and like this also in the bar chart also in millennials gen z they use like 92 person in urban it's like 85 person so they're telling like how which generation and where it uses the most like the mobile they use the most and here if you see then you can see like how others they use manas like these are some of the examples which uh, the people have done means they have given the task to manas and manas have done it and if you want manas to try your task then what you can do you can click on it you can give your email so there's a wait list also you have to join that and then you can get the access to manas and use it to create or ask the things that you want like such as planning a trip if you want best books on media how, for example even to make a game also 
so it does many things here is some spaces galleries like some incredible spaces which was created with manis like such as the dashboards the super mario game site so you can visit the space also so you can see here like this game it's like so it's kind of like you know you know it's a minecraft style but it's like mario game so you can see here like these some games so which this anise has created there's also there's room there's zinc oxide growth there's discover the wonder of physics so whatever website it has created or such as game also so that also they have shown also and if we have a look at the benchmark so the benchmark for this ai agent it's called gaia so the gaia is the benchmark for evaluating journal ai assistance which solve the real world problem. So, so Manus has achieved the new state of the art soda performance across all three difficulty levels. So across all three difficulty levels, it has performed its best. So in level one, if we have a look at it, the score of it for Manus.ai, then it's 86.5%. For OpenAI Deep Research, it's 74.3% and previous soda was 67.9%. In level two, 71.1 percent here also it wins and open ai deep research loses and even level three the score is 57.7 percent also so you can see here some of the benchmarks so now let me show you some more examples at x in which the people got the access and they were showing like the game they have created or whatever does they have given to manis and manis has achieved that or not they have done the task or not so let me show you an x so here you can see that there's one person called parker layman and he they styled the wipe coding with Manus AI and they made the make a 3.js endless runner game with, with a Schwarzman scholars team. So in this prompt they use and Manus has created this endless runner game. And here also there's one more person and when he got the access of Manus AI, so they cloned the Apple website. So this is the Apple website which Manus has created a copy of it and where there's animations also and everything and here also in which they made the ux is amazing and they said the output is really good and here there's an amazing animation using p5js you can see here the amazing animation which manis has done so this is also such an amazing you can see if you have a look at it at this animation you can see it's such an amazing and this is one more example by manis ai so one more person which is called victor m he got the access and they say it's true that manis is the most impressive ai tool i've ever tried so you can see the ux and everything the agentic capabilities are mind-blowing and it's redefining what's possible so you can see the game which is created by manis so manis has created this game so which is such an amazing so that's all from my side if you like this video do like subscribe and do tell me in the comments whether you think that manis is good or not and whether have you tried this ai agent or not because if you join the waitlist you can get the access to manis ai and you can try it for yourself so that's all from my side catch you next time bye bye